All right, new products. Okay. Let's just dive right in. Updated product. So this is an updated product. We have um, these um, RGB LCD plates for the Pi back in stock. Um, and, yeah. and now, it, um, some people noticed, and also it's in the description of the product, the buttons are on the right-hand side. Um, I can show on the overhead if we can so just move yes, fast. Yes, we have an overhead. I just want to show what, what we did. So I, just, I actually, when I first made this, I made this just like the Arduino version. And um, the buttons were on the left side. But um, the problem is, is that if you pressed here, it would it was kind of bendy like this i didn't like that so instead um we have the buttons on the right side so it presses up against the uh ethernet jack it's a little bit stronger in my opinion so mechanically a little bit better um otherwise same code same everything have it in you know rgb blue and white two types it's all good okay let's keep moving okay we have these quick wires this i have to show on the red because this is a little bit weird but basically these are um these are quick disconnect wire sets that can be used with our um, waterproof buttons or our arcade buttons. So I'll show with an arcade button. Um, so for example, here's an arcade button and you see that they have these little like gold tabs on the end. And um, it would be kind of a pain to have to solder to them, especially if you have a, something where you wanna like be able to um, lift up or, or remove the buttons later or swap them out. So now what you can do is, is you just press these on these quick disconnects and they're exactly the right size. It's lovely. And then um, they're mechanically connected, but you can also pull them out. And then they come to like a 2.5 millimeter, like 0.1 inch connector. I don't exactly know what connector this is. I think it's GST something, but I, I couldn't quite figure it out. Um, but then, yeah, you can then remove these. And they come in a set of 10. They also work great with our, our metal waterproof buttons as well. And uh, you get a whole bunch of these. So if you're making some sort of arcade thing, um, this would be probably really handy. Yeah. Good stuff. I like these. Okay, next up. You ready? Yes. Oh, you know what? Let's, um, can I show the extrusion first? Which one? The, uh, it's probably last. That. Can I sure. show that last? Okay. Yeah, okay. Because uh, otherwise it's confusing. It's like, what are you showing? Sure. Um, so we now have... We've got extrusion. Extrusion. So let's go to the big um, image because it's so big. So um, extrusion is, it's basically these aluminum sort of like... Like, I, I, Americans know them as like erector sets, and I think in, in Europe they use Meccano, Me, Meccano mm -hmm. or Me, Meccano or something. So it's these, um, these tubes, and they have sort of this sort of cross shape. So you can see there's a cross so shape. The show isn't in 3D. Put on your glasses, folks. Phew. So we sell this stuff. It's basically made out of a, a solid aluminum um, and it's extruded, right? They have this, you know, this profile and they push the aluminum out. And that's why it's, you know, it's perfectly straight, uh, made out of aluminum. Um, I like this because, first of all, it's really easy to cut. So we sell it in two foot lengths, which is a little bit more than 600 millimeters. Um, there's aluminum, so you don't need a table saw to cut it, cut it with a hacksaw. Yeah. You can use a bandsaw if you have a bandsaw, but if you don't, you can just use a hacksaw. I've done plenty of projects where I just use a vise and a hacksaw to cut this stuff. Yeah. Really easy to cut. That's what I like is you don't need power tools yeah. to, to do this. You do need a vise to, to grip it. Yeah, but, but then... A vise is not a power tool, though. It, that's true. Yeah. Um, so we have the extrusion, and then we have all the stuff that goes with it. So the, the cool stuff about extrusion, and we sell a type of extrusion called open beam, which is, which is thinner. This is 20 millimeter by 20 millimeter. This is kind of what I think is is pretty strong. I mean, like, this is, doesn't really bad. Yeah, you can't. Um, this is really strong stuff, a little bit stronger than the open beam. Um, and this is also kind of a more standard size. Um, it's This is really good for building robots, 3D printers, uh, CNC stuff. Yeah. It, you know, it's not like a, for, like, massive, huge CNC, but for, like, pretty much any hobbyist CNC, um, this stuff will do the job. So let's go through all the fun accessories we have. Okay. So, so starting in addition with, to the extrusion, yeah. we have these corner brackets. These are corner braces. So when you want to put two pieces together at a 90 degree angle, which is really common, you like use this. this. You put them together and you use um, the, uh, hex, the, the, sorry, the button cap and the T-nuts to, to attach it. We have these caps. The caps go on the end and make for a nice finishing. Um, I think they're nice to, to have something to finish it. Comes with a pack of 10. Mm -hmm. Uh, we have these T nets, so let me show you um, how these work. Can we go to the overhead? Because this yeah. is this is a little bit weird, how um, okay. how these things work. Okay, so you've got your extrusion, and uh, you know you, there's a slot in the middle um, that I showed you from the um, from the end, and um, to use it, what you do is you can grab these special um, nuts, and they're they're you know, M4, I think. So they're, they're metric nuts. And then basically what you do is you see how that there's 
this this is like curved a little bit, but then there's a point. So it's not it's not like square. It's 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 not round either. There's like a little point. So when you put it in, and then if you grab a uh, button screw, and then you also grab a uh, hex wrench, and I'll uh, I'll attach like one of these plates. Sorry, I'll attach this corner corner brace. So if you want to attach something, so you've got this corner brace, you place it right over. So you can see it. Yeah, look at that. And then you place the screw inside there, line it up, and then when you twist it, it will, um, because the, the the nut is not, it, it's, it will fit in sideways, but as you turn it, it'll uh, bind up against the sides. Um, it's now solidly attached, so oh, wow. like this is not moving. This is but, the first live demonstration on the internet, I think, if this ever happened. I don't know. But um, <laughs> the cool thing is that it's really easy to, you can loosen it, reposition it, and then when you're ready, you just tighten it down again. Yeah. And uh, it's really easy. All you need is, is a hex wrench to basically assemble anything you want. And then, yeah, you know, you can like auto locks. It's cool. Then you take another piece, and then, you know, you can you connect it like this. Yeah. And then you can have another brace if you want. So that's how the system works. So the, the, there's, you know, these special nuts. And, you know, we sell them in a pack of 50. They are a little bit special. Like, they are, they're called T-nuts, and they're designed specifically for use with extrusion. Um, OpenBeam doesn't use these. It actually uses everyday hex nuts. But yeah. I think this is, you know... Yeah, I wish that these were all used like everyday hex nuts, but this isn't too bad. Like these only cost like twenty cents each, so it's not uh, it's not so bad. All right. All right. Let's keep moving along. Let's so, move along. Uh, yeah. Did you want to uh, talk? So yeah. About so these slide through the top, and then here's just a demo showing them being screwed on. Yeah. And then there's also the hex wrench. Okay. So then there's the, the oval style, and I'll show these also on the overhead. So there's two types. There's the T. Nuts that I just showed, and then there's these oval style. Okay. So the oval style is like oval team. No, it's it's a little bit actually easier to understand. They're oval shaped, and so when you, sorry, I'm going to move this out of the way. Um, these slide in, and they they kind of slide, and they they're like exactly the right size to go inside, and so they can only slide in from the end. And so that makes them a little harder to use because they can't, you can't fit them from the top. Okay. They won't fit. It also means that they're not going to slide out. I don't know, from the, depending, you know, that, yeah. that might be something you want. But they're, they're less expensive because they're stamped, not um, cast. I think these are cast and these are stamped. So these are a little bit less expensive. Um, some people like them, so we have both types. But yeah, these slide from the side and the other ones slide from the top. But same basic idea, you use, um, the button hex cap screws and you tighten them in and uh, as you can tell the oval shape will not move it'll bind up against the slot and um, attach permanently okay okay all right and here's just more yeah photos of them action and then there's these uh, little hingy things there's hingy things um they do this actually this photo is pretty easy to understand there's yeah. hinges that come with it we also uh have all the screws you need yeah, and here's the screws that go with the hinges. Yeah, there's some screws in showing you know, you attach. You can have hinges attached to this stuff. More screws. Um, there's plates, so I can show the plates on the overhead. But um, basically, uh, you know, we have these plates, and these plates have the holes exactly 20 millimeters apart, so they'll line up. Um, you know, if you want to connect, all the holes line up with multiple pieces. So that can be really handy if you're, if you're, you know, connecting something. And the corner braces are really good, but, like, if you want something really strong, you might want to go with uh, one of these L braces where you get multiple holes. Yeah, and uh, I'll show a couple more photos of these. Yep. Hinges. Some more hinges, hinge action, hingerific. These are the th three-hole couplers, two-hole couplers, L plates, L plates in action, T plates, plates in action this is a cross plate so you can connect four pieces and and then this is the extrusion is showing it it's it's long there it is so that's yeah that's the that's the extrusion 
So we have a whole bunch of stuff. We're going to get more stuff that you can use with extrusion soon, but we think that all of what we got so far should get you started. Okay. Um, just a little bit of a recap here. Here's the watch. This is our Times Square watch, and this is a little animated GIF. And this week, we're launching a lot of new colors. So yes. we have a ton of photos, and let's take a look at them. Uh, We've got tangerine, yeah, which is kind of orange colored, and uh, this one looks really nice. And it's just showing all the different uh, options. The scrolling text never looks quite good on the photos, but um, you have to believe us. There's also lime green, yeah, it's a nice green color. We also have blue, classic blue, and we have white. And the, um, the orange and green, because they're the same, the, the matrices are the same color as the red matrix, they're the same price. Um, the blue and white, blue and white LEDs are more expensive. They always are. And so um, the, the watch is a little bit more expensive. And so I even have, okay. I have, uh, just to demonstrate the two, we have a, actually yeah, let's do it on, let's do it on the overhead. Yeah, because it's so bright with that light. Let's yeah, let's do it shade. Let's go here. So this is the watch. And then this is showing the times. It's 10:39. And then this is just the uh, the watch part. Oh, upside down. This one's not set to the right time. <laughs> <laughs> so it says 12:06 a.m. Oh, I just turned this on. Um, so yeah, you can see that there's this nice bright white with the yellow phosphor. And so we have all sorts of different colors. Um, they're all last as long. They're all really bright. We got yeah. really, really high-end matrices so they can run off a coin cell. Yeah. This is the coolest DIY watch in all the colors you could possibly want. Yeah. So this are, again, these are all the different colors. You can check them out. Do you have a favorite color, Lady Ada? I am... Um, I kind of like the green, actually. You like the green? The green looks really cool, yeah. I like the green a lot. That's nice. Okay. Okay. Next up. Oh, the Allen wrench. We showed this already. This is that's the tool I use right. to put those uh, extrusions together. Okay. Handy. So and people are like, "Hey, you should have an Allen wrench." I'm like, "You're right." So. But wait, there's more. There's more. We have these little SMT mini sets. Actually, it doesn't really make too much sense to show them on the overhead because they're so small. Um, yeah. But we have uh, SMT breakout boards for TQFP 44s, TQFP 32s, QFN 44s, QFN 32s. Uh, SOIC and TSOPs 28, 20, 16, 14, 12, maybe yeah. I remember. And maybe and you eight. can, for the, for the people who aren't really into electronics but just love watching yeah. the show, why do you need these breakout boards? What is it doing? This is These are handy little adapters for when you're dealing with small chips mm -hmm. and you want to use a breadboard. So sometimes the, so the surface mount to breadboard yeah, chip adapter basically. Chip adapters, mm -hmm. they're little breakouts. And so oftentimes the, the new sensors, the new op amps, the new chips that you want to use, microcontrollers, they don't come in dip anymore. It's yeah. very rare. Um, so oftentimes you'll need to use an adapter. So this way you can solder the chip onto this adapter and then use it like as a breadboard. And I use these all the time. And um, I used to buy these from like DigiKey for like five or six bucks each or other places. They're, they're really, really expensive. expensive. They can be really expensive. And, and so I was like, you know, I should really, I actually designed my own at, at the Media Lab and I made a bunch and they, I recently ran out. And so I was like, oh, you know, I should like probably sell these. Um, so this batch that we are doing right now has, um, it's actually a mini set because I didn't want to sell these individually for like 50 cents each. I was like, well, you know, you probably need more than just one. So you yeah. actually get um, a whole bunch of PCBs. You get uh, 13 PCBs all in one yeah. and actually come in a little break, break apart sheet. So you get um, five pieces that are for uh, SOT23, which is a common small transistor um, part. And so you get a SOT23 six on one side and then two SOT23s on the back. Uh, we also have one that's a TO 252. It's common for regulators and some power transistors. Yeah. And we also have one package that'll do a SOT 89, also good for transistors and regulators on one side and a SOT 223 on the other. Also, so these are common transistor regulator parts. And, and how much are we charging for these? Uh, you get 13 for five bucks. 13 for five bucks? That's crazy. 
Just have Actually, to- you know, some, you know, we've, so we put, we put these up on like Google Plus and someone says, you know, $5 each, that's, that's not so good. It's like, and all these people said, no, it's for all of them. And he's like, oh my gosh. Yeah, like I just, I think that you should get a lot. Yeah. Like they, there's, there's like there's not a lot going on there. There's not a lot going on here. Yeah. It's not like you have to run these to the pick and place. Um, they're nice gold plated PCBs. Ten percent off now tonight. Too, and they're ten percent yeah. off. And um, maybe we'll do like a super pack where you get like one of each. Yeah. Um, we have. You know what's gonna happen is everybody who's been overcharging everyone they're gonna have to lower their prices now. Yeah, they're gonna have to. Yeah. We'll also like as I like, try to um, try to like double these yeah. up. So like all of them have something on both sides except for like the TO. 253. I couldn't quite figure out what I would put in the back. Yeah. I was also like, oh, it's probably going to get really hot. So I thought I would, I would leave the, the back empty. But all the other ones that we do, we have two, something on both sides. Yeah. So you get like twice as much. Yeah. You can use the SYC side or the QFN side or the TQFP side. So this is a really good set. And so I think I've covered pretty much all of the most common. Yeah. I mean, I'm not going to get like every DFN. There's like, there's tons of more sizes of like really small chips, but these are all the ones I think are hand solderable yeah. by most people. Okay. Uh, speaking of great value, great price. Yeah. Look at this. It's a new product. We got a new product. Accelerometer. Yeah. At the last minute, we we uh, also managed to get in a, a new sensor. Yeah. This is actually a sensor I've been. Uh, I've actually had this on my desk for a really long time. We finally pick and place yeah. them. These are the ADXL 345. Uh, digital accelerometers. They're sort of the uh, big sister to the ADXL335, which is really common. Um, we've had a bunch of analog accelerometers in the store. Yeah. We have uh, two. Uh, and so now I wanted to add a digital accelerometer. The ADXL345, they you know have uh, low drift. They're pretty easy to use. Yeah. You know, they have a wide range. They're not, they're not the super cheapest accelerometer, but they're, they're good quality. I like them. And uh, we have a library that goes with them. Yeah. This breakout board makes it 5-volt safe, so you can use 5-volt I2C or SPI. Both will be uh, out of the box, and it comes with some mounting holes. Uh, K-Town did a really good job with this board. Yeah. So we're up to here. And what are we charging? Uh, 1995. 1995. I know for a fact there are companies charging $40 for these. 40 bucks. Well, I think 20 bucks. I think 20 bucks is a better price. I think it's okay. Yeah. Just saying. Okay. All right. And it comes with, oh, sorry. And it comes with a regulator. Yeah. Also, so you can run this off of five volts or three volts. I don't know. People want it. So accelerometers. So now we have gyros, accelerometers, magnetometers, multiple different types of accelerometers. We have like every kind of ometer. Yeah. We're, work, we're working through the ometer list. We got the ometers. <laughs> yeah. All Tell right. Tell your doctor. Yeah. You got, you got your daily, I got a case of the ometers. Yeah. Daily. And only eight of you can carry it. Okay. Yeah, the, all right. Ometers. Okay. Uh, so with all that. All that. Is the new products. That is a lot of new products. Whew. That was new products. 